New Zealand's borders are currently closed to all travellers except some very limited exceptions. The few amount of people that are allowed in have to stay in quarantine facilities for 14 days. In this video, we will cover the thinking behind our predictions, then we will go over our predictions on when will the border open between selected countries and New Zealand. Hi guys, my name is Robin and I am one of the talking heads behind nzpocketguide.com, New Zealand's largest travel guide. So our last prediction video was on the 19th of December 2020 and we got the year kind of messed up. We said 2021 instead of 2022 super often. Luckily, you guys caught on that quite well in the comment section, so you rock. If you catch any mistakes, make sure to put them in the comments of this video. So before we get started, this video covers just our prediction. It is just our opinion, obviously quite informed, but it's just our opinion. There has been no official announcement made by the New Zealand government unless stated otherwise in this video when I'm going to be quoting New Zealand officials. So keep checking the website covid19.govt.nz forward slash travel for all the information about the current travel restrictions for New Zealand. In this video, we will cover the thinking behind our predictions, as well as our prediction countries by countries on when will the New Zealand borders open between New Zealand and that said country. Again, just predictions. And there is going to be a really big announcement in August, so make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get the latest information. Alright guys, so let's get started with the thinking behind our predictions. I will go much faster than the usual so we can discuss some of those topics more in depth during one of our upcoming live sessions. We do live sessions right here on YouTube every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. It's a great place to hang out with us and discuss traveling to New Zealand. We talk about travel advice, best things to do, our favorite spots and all that thing. So make sure to hit subscribe if you want to be part of that. All right, so let's go over seven of our thinking behind those predictions. First one, New Zealand had two waves of the virus, which shows great vulnerability of the country and therefore the New Zealand government is going to be very skittish into reopening its border too hastily. Thinking number two, the general New Zealand elections happened on the 17th of October 2020 and this consolidated the power and validated the strong New Zealand COVID policies implemented by the Labour government. So they are unlikely to change course now that they have public validation. Thinking number three, the hospital capacity and the tracking capabilities of the country are a bit so-so. A data modeling expert has warned that uh, very recently, actually in July 2021, that reopening the borders with less than 70% of the public vaccinated risks overwhelming hospitals and a huge amount of COVID-19 related death. Thinking number four, tourism is a really big part of the New Zealand economy. In fact, that was the number one earner for the country before COVID. Therefore, there is a huge incentive for the New Zealand government to kickstart the economy and reopen the borders sooner rather than later. Number five, how your country handled the virus is a big factor. There are current requirements for New Zealand to consider reopening its border to a country. The first one is that there is no community transmission for the virus for at least 30 days. As more countries require vaccination uh, and vaccination passport for international travelers, New Zealand is likely to require visitor vaccination proof. And that was um, hinted quite strongly by Jacinda Ardern, which is the New Zealand Prime Minister. Thinking number six, there is a chance that the New Zealand government is not going to reopen the New Zealand borders during summer. It is the high peak season for tourism in New Zealand and for this reason they may try to open during the lower season, i.e. in winter, in order for it to be less of a big influx of tourists and be able to control any potential outbreaks. Winter in New Zealand usually runs between, I mean always runs between June, July and August. And finally, thinking number seven, the New Zealand vaccination rate is still quite low. At the time of recording this video, only 18% of the New Zealand population has received the first dose of the two-dose Pfizer vac vaccination. Therefore, there's still a long process ahead of us. 
We did receive our vaccination recently with Laura. There is a video of us getting this vaccination right here on the channel. I'm going to link it somewhere here or there. And if you want to see more videos related to travel advice in New Zealand, make sure to hit subscribe. Now, the main question that you guys may have is, when will we get something official? So here's a quote. In the coming weeks, we will share the information and advice that we received and give everyone an opportunity to hear directly from the expert. We will also provide the government proposed response for that advice so that people can see the proposed pathway forward. That's a quote from Grant Robertson, which is the fi finance ministers right here in New Zealand. In short, we expect to get some news in August, probably around the end of August, to be honest, with some New Zealand bubble coming into the works. Vague hints show that Taiwan and Samoa have strong possibilities of opening their borders with New Zealand. We'll do a video with them as soon as we get some news, so make sure to hit subscribe. Moving on to the predictions. Again, those are just predictions and they probably apply to every single type of visas. New Zealand immigration has had a very strong policies of not issuing visas to countries that have not, no possibilities to come into New Zealand. So, so far, only two countries have a travel bubble with New Zealand. Australia, which opened in April 2021, and we predicted March to April 2021, so that was pretty good. Um, there has been on and off border openings with some states due to local outbreaks, so at the moment travel with Australia is inconsistent at best. The second country which has border opened with New Zealand is the Cook Islands. The borders opened in May and we predicted November, so we were quite off on this one. So again, it's a good reminder to take those predictions with a grain of salt. For the next part of these predictions, I'm going to group a bunch of countries that may open their border with New Zealand before the end of 2021. First up, we have the small country of Nui. We think that the country of Nui may reopen its border with New Zealand between September and October 2021. New Zealand, uh, New Zealand and Nui have a very strong relationship and Nui has been very safe with COVID-19. However, they're very cautious about New Zealand. It is highly likely that the New Zealand government requires every single traveler coming to Nui to be fully vaccinated. The next country that may open before the end of 2021 is Samoa. We predict that Samoa may open its border with New Zealand between October or November 2021. Samoa has had a really good vaccination rollout and the government has started a bubble with New Zealand before the end of the year. And the last country that we are expecting that may be opening its border with New Zealand in, in, before the end of 2021 will be Taiwan, that we predict between November and December 2021. Some government paperwork was showing that some economies were considered for border reopening soon. Economy is how Taiwan is described by the New Zealand government to appease China. The next few countries that may reopen their border with New Zealand may be some of the South Pacific Islands, and that could happen around March 2022. There is not much of a rush for, this country, for those countries to reopen their borders with New Zealand if the Christmas season is missed. Countries like French Polynesia have been increasing cases when reopening their borders, and Fiji is currently in crisis, so there is a lot of a wait-and-see approach. The next country that we may see reopening may be South Korea or Singapore, which we predict for around April 2022. South Korea is doing especially well, so there are, may already be some talk in, you know, behind the scenes to a border opening with New Zealand. The next few countries that we're going to be looking at are Japan, China and Hong Kong. We're seeing that happening probably around late April 2022. China is a large tourism market for New Zealand and an extremely large work market. So there may be some uh, work and student market. So there may be some arrangement here and the student market may reopen first. The rest of Asia may come around late May 2022 and that could include Philippines and Malaysia. The UK, which is part of the Commonwealth and had very close tied with New Zealand, may reopen around April 2022. Their vaccination rate is going really fast, and since New Zealand may actually require full vaccination from every traveller coming to the country, the UK may be on top of the list. Ireland may come around April 2022 as well, as you know it probably will get a similar treatment than the UK. The rest of Europe is also probably going to come around 20, uh, April 2022 as well, with Germany and Switzerland that may open early, as they are doing very well. India may come in very late April 2022. There has been some case increases lately, but the vaccination rollout is working fine. There is also a massive amount of influx from students coming from India. 
And because students are coming to New Zealand for usually a longer period of time, it is less stringent on them to take the two weeks quarantine. So that may come earlier as well and students may be allowed to come to New Zealand earlier than travelers. Next up we have Canada, which is also part of the Commonwealth and same thing maybe April 2022. The USA uh, start having a really good vaccination rate, which is growing really fast, so probably April to May 2022. South America, um, not including Chile and Brazil, which are currently not doing so well, may reopen in April or May 2022. There is not much of an incentive for New Zealand to reopen its border with South America as there is not a massive influx of trade or tourism or work workforces. South Africa may reopen in June 2022 as well. There is still significant community transmission in the country and unless the vaccination rate goes high, I do not see a border opening going earlier. Finally, the rest of Africa probably will come in very late 2022. Do remember that all of those are just predictions and this is just us kind of looking at the numbers and discussing those facts with you guys. Please do not take any of this information at face value and do your own research as well. We do our utmost to give you some somewhat decent information but they're still subject to a lot of changes as the situation is extremely fluid. Make sure to hit subscribe as we're going to cover extensively the announcement that's going to come in August with a plan forward by the New Zealand government for its border reopening in 2022 and 2023. Also keep in mind, vaccination will be required so make sure that you get your jabs. See you on the next video, bye bye!